and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a nursery update. So we're going to be working in the closet and I'm going to be sharing with y'all some things like a baby haul of things that we have gotten so far off of our registry and some things that our friends and family have bought for us. Have a huge surprise at the end of today's video. So y'all be sure to stick around. So first, Drew is putting together this cabinet. So today's video sponsor is by Costway and y'all know that I love them. And we were ready to start designing his closet. And so Drew and I found something off of Pinterest that we thought would be beautiful and work so well in here. And so I was able to find this off of their website and Drew is putting this together for us. And we are going to make like a little closet out of it. So I'm gonna share with y'all some Pinterest inspiration and he did a wonderful job. It turned out just like I had visioned. If you are interested in designing a closet like this, definitely check out my link down below and you can use my code and get a discount. This cabinet comes in several different colors and it came with two cabinets for the upper shelves, but we left those off so you could see the baskets that we were going to use for storage. And also these shelves that we have, we actually had some left over from doing our pantry and closets. And then we had some of these little hooks, these little brackets left over as well. And so we're getting to use materials from our build to work on this closet. So I felt like we got to recycle some things and I was really happy about that too. So here's the inspiration picture that I had found on Pinterest. And so you'll have to let me know how Drew did these are the little wooden dowels that he got from Lowe's and he just cut them and then you just place them on these little L brackets that have these little hooks on them. This was a super simple project to do. And then I've got to paint these shelves as well. Here is the final look. So if y'all think Drew did a good job, y'all be sure to give this video a thumbs up and let him know. I think it turned out perfect and I cannot wait to put all his little clothes in here. So we're about to do that next. And thank you again, Costway, for sponsoring today's video and helping us bring this little project together. We're in his closet now and we're gonna be putting some things in here. So I got three of these from TJ Maxx for $12.99 a piece. And I like that these have the little cloth liners so it doesn't snag his little clothes or I'm not even real sure what we're gonna put in here, but I'm loving all the storage. <laughs> And then also we may even do something like this or like this. And then I've seen where they put like a little cute jar or something to like have a little jar like his passies in. But for now, we'll just kind of center them up. I was trying to look for some baskets that were just a little bit longer, but then again, I also like the idea of having other little storage things to like organize his little items on the side of this, so we'll see. And now we're gonna hang some of his little clothes up and they are on these little plastic hangers, but I am wanting to swap these over for the velvet hangers. I love those. And so um, I did register for some and we're gonna change these out. But look how cute these little outfits are. So we're gonna hang up all of the, his little clothes in here, just kind of organize it. And then we'll go through and I'll show you some of his favorites that we have got um, or that Drew and I have bought him. So here's what it's looking like so far. Drew did such a good job. It is just so cute. His room is turning out really cute too. I cannot wait for y'all to see it, but I like to just come in here and just look at his closet and look at his little clothes and imagine him in them. So let's start off over here. This is something new. Drew and I went to a date night one night and we went to TJ Maxx and had stumbled upon two outfits that we love. So this is the one that I picked out for him. And like I said, Drew and I probably have bought maybe five or six pieces of clothing for him. The rest have came from people. So, so grateful. And then Drew picked him out this one. 
which I thought was so sweet. And you've already seen this one. And then down here, we have one of you guys, a subscriber, made this. So sweet. So what I kind of did was did like neutral summer up top and colorful down below. And then this one down here is also from a sweet, um, well, she's a subscriber and she's our neighbor and um, a friend from around here. So thank you, Jerry, for that. It's so sweet. This actually came from a local store. And then over here on this side, this is how I have things organized so far. It may change. But this is all like really soft. Like this is going to be the stuff that he'll be wearing close to whenever he gets here. Um, because he'll be small during the winter months. And so this is all like really soft long sleeve stuff. And this is like the colorful long sleeve stuff. I shared a lot of these on the haul. But this is so sweet and from a good friend of mine. Drew loved this. I don't know where a lot of this stuff came from. I had somebody already asked me on Instagram where this came from, but so sweet. This is all, I shared this in another video, but this came from my niece, Alyssa. She helped my mom pick it out. And this is by Modern Moments and it's a brand at Walmart and it is so soft. I cannot wait to put him in these things. These you've all seen on another video. Let's see if there's anything. Yeah, I think that we've seen most of this. Oh, this is something that I got him at TJ Maxx. So we got all of these off season. So I'm gonna be realizing to buy these during the off season so I get them for a good deal. This little outfit was $3 from Walmart. Look how cute that is. My mom got all these little softy things. So cute. And down here, we have a little Carhartt outfit that Miss Althea gave him. And then my grandma gave him this. Look how cute that is. This might not stay in here, but I wanted to share with y'all. So down here we have his shoes and pants in this little drawer so far. So these little shoes, my grandma got him these. These are so sweet. And then I'm also a subscriber sent a pair of these. Those are so sweet too, little slippers. And my grandma had a fit over these little pants. She gave us these for him. So cute, so tiny. And then these are little Carhartt jeans that Miss Althea found him. Let me know if y'all have any ideas, if you have babies and have like a little closet set up like this, kind of where you put everything, what you think would be good in those baskets. We also have clothes in this dresser that I'm not gonna show you because I'm gonna show y'all it in the baby room makeover and reveal, but a friend of ours that watches our channel a lot, she actually graduated with my sister, she sent this little outfit, it's a little onesie and pants, so sweet, and then another one of our friends sent this, so cute. And then here, here's another little drawer, this is all of little uh, onesies, so lots of different things. This came from my sister-in-law, Addison, bunch of little gifts. Again, I think of out of all this, Drew and I bought this one. So he is already spoiled. Everybody's loving him and loving buying him little outfits. And then this is a little gown and this is like a little short sleeve onesies. So that's what I have in this drawer. In this drawer up top, I love this one. It's got like the velvet up here. So right now I just have like his little socks and stuff stuck right here. This came from a subscriber. Um, I hate it because I want to like give y'all a big thanks on YouTube, but we'd be here forever going through every little thing of what people sent us, but we do appreciate it so much. We have little mittens and things right here. And then in this I'm drawer, sure that a lot of y'all know this, um, or have been doing this cause it's been popular for a while now, but instead of cards, if you wanted to get a book and then sign the book, so I'm excited about that. And then my friend Tiffany wrote the sweetest little thing in here. We hope you enjoy this book. Always keep Jesus close. He will be the most important story you are told. So I thought that was sweet. So this is, I think he's received like three or four books so far. Um, I got to find a place to put all. Actually, I do have something that's come in a bookshelf um, that I'm excited about. So right now I just threw this in here. And then we have these nice little muslin cloths, little uh, burp cloths. 
And then also, I love these. These came from a friend. Also, a lot of people already bought stuff for our registry if they couldn't be here for our shower. And so, um, that's why we've collected so much stuff so far. So, this is little bibs. And these are going to be so nice to just wipe down. And I love the colors of these. All of this that you're seeing came off Amazon. So, if you're interested in any of this for yourself, you can go to Amazon and find these items. You'd be able to find my registry on Amazon and then you can go through and click the link and you can just order yourself something if you're wanting any of this stuff that you're seeing. I have like a basket full of little things that I wanted to share with y'all that was gifted to us or I ran across at TJ Maxx because it's like all the toys that I really liked were on clearance so I grabbed them. And I wish I could share with y'all the rest of the room because it's coming together so cute. I love it, but we're gonna save that. Look how sweet this is. I got this at TJ Maxx. And it was on clearance. A friend sent this over. I thought that was so sweet. Another friend got these off of our registry. I heard a lot of good things about these passies. Then all of these passies, I think, came from Miss Southia. I think Miss Jerry gave us one. Came in a packet of something, but these are so cute. So, so cute. And then this little frog I got for him. I like all the like little neutral toys if you can't tell. I just think they're sweet and like whenever I put them out like on the shelves and stuff. I've already seen this too but a subscriber that came to see us at Petals from the Past brought this. I love that little bee. And then also I just found, whoops sorry Maddie, she's down below me and I just scared her. I also found this at TJ Maxx. And I thought it was so sweet. It was $3. So all these little toys that I've been getting at TJ Maxx, I got uh, three of them I showed y'all. They were like between $1 and $3. And so I was like, well, all the little toys that I'm picking up, loving. Every time I turn the tag over, they're on clearance. So I've been excited about that. So like I said, these little toys are so cute. And they'll be cute to like set on shelves or little things. So I can kind of display them, use them as decor. Instead of buying a whole bunch of like decorative pieces, I'll just use his little toys. And then another toy that I have already put out is so cute. This came from my friend Gabby and they're so sweet. They're like these little stacking blocks. These came off my registry too. And I think they're so cute. They also have like little designs on the top of them, which I didn't realize that whenever I registered for them. But this was on a lot of people's registry must haves for babies. So I thought that I would grab these and they're really cute. Just like the shelf right here sitting on a little shelf. I think that would be cute. And then um, I heard that the babies love playing with these. Another thing off my registry from a friend was this little bathtub. I heard wonderful things about it, but there was another one on there also that I registered for because somebody else was raving about it. So I was like, well, I'll just get both and kind of see which one that we think that will like best. But this was one of them. So the reason I'm sharing with you all this stuff is because if you're having a baby or somebody you know is having a baby, maybe it'll give you some ideas. Or maybe you've already had a baby and you've seen some of these things and you can be like, we use that a lot. We didn't use that. Try this. So y'all can help me out. If you're watching this and are about to have a baby, you can look in the comments too and kind of see what worked for other people. I know every baby is different. Every mommy is different. I've realized that a lot of people like love this. Some people love the other one. So you really don't know until he gets here. So a good, good friend of mine, she's actually my cousin. We grew up together and all. She lives out of town and she's not gonna make it. So she sent this over. This is something that we registered for. That was um, a bottle sterilizer. I didn't like watch a ton of videos on like the best of the best because it really just overwhelmed me. So some of the things like this and the Diaper Genie and things like that, I just went to Amazon and typed it in and then just registered for the one that had the, the most reviews and like close to five stars. It's one of the ones with the best reviews. So I thought we would try it. So let me know if y'all have this one and how you like it. I think the last thing that I wanted to share with y'all is this. So I got this off that um, Sheen website. I thought it was so pretty. And we're gonna use this as like a diaper caddy. I know a lot of people were on line that I was watching were actually using like caddies to organize, but I thought that this would work and it was so cute and inexpensive. And we could put like his diapers in here, wipes, change of clothes, different things that you would need to always have in the car with you. So I thought that this would be a nice little bag to organize everything later. And I'll do that with y'all on another video or over on Instagram 
we might do some like reels and stuff on like packing hospital bags and packing car bags, things like that. I think that will be fun. We're about to cut to something um, to end this video with and I am so excited. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've known this for a while now. Pretty much like a couple of days after we announced our gender, we found out some extremely exciting news. So shocked. This is, this is, this is good. Y'all are going to love it. <laughs> I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in old conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost, no, I was so stuck I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up cause nothing was changing but with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby My sister is going to be having a baby and due September 1st and she is due October 5th. So we are having what we are calling twin cousins and we are so excited. I cannot wait for our babies to grow up together, we'll be in school together. So Bridget and I will be able to go on field trips together and do all the things. And this is just such a huge blessing and we are so, so thankful. So I'm so excited to be able to share with you all this wonderful news on YouTube with all my YouTube family. I know y'all are going to be so excited and so shocked and I love you guys so much. Thank y'all for always being here with us and sharing this journey of life with us and we will see you guys on the very next one. God bless.